In the spring of 73 AD, the Roman Empire, relentless in its pursuit of control, turned its gaze to a remote, rugged outcrop in the Judean desert, Masada. Here, atop this desolate mesa, Jewish zealots had taken refuge, defying the might of Rome with fierce determination. The fortress itself was a marvel of ancient engineering, fortified extensively by Herod the Great and thought to be impregnable. Under the command of Flavius Silva, the Romans encamped around Masada, their numbers swelling to nearly 15,000 soldiers and slaves. They faced a scant 960 zealots, yet the siege they would lay was monumental. The Romans, unable to breach Masada's formidable defences by conventional means, embarked on a colossal engineering feat. They constructed a massive earthen ramp, effectively turning a natural impasse into a strategic advantage. Day and night, thousands toiled, moving vast quantities of earth and stone under the harsh desert sun. As the ramp neared completion, the Romans prepared a final assault, armed with siege towers and battering rams. Inside Masada, the zealots prepared for the inevitable. Led by Eleazar ben Yair, they sustained themselves with stored rainwater and provisions, maintaining a vigilant watch over the Roman progress. The moral quandary of their situation deepened as their fate drew near. With the ramp completed, Roman forces made their move, breaching the fortress with brute force. Faced with the certainty of defeat, the zealots made a solemn collective decision, death before dishonour. In an act of profound defiance and tragic resolve, they chose mass suicide over enslavement, a decision lamented in Jewish history and commemorated today.